How's it going YouTube? This is Chad. Um, I'm back for another video. So today um, will be a Linux operating system review. So today we'll be going to be looking at Hannah Montana Linux, which is a version of Kubuntu, a modified version of Kubuntu, dating back to around 2009 I think um, it's very old. So this is the the website. It's kind of a sign of things to come for when we check out this distribution. So <clears throat> this is the home page. Um, you got some download links for the actual ISO, some theme packs, some icons. You have. So links for some other stuff, Ubuntu, I guess. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's just get to straight to Ubuntu. Um, Miley Cyrus. Cyrus. Uh, okay, that's weird. Um, <clears throat> there's some also some an FAQ page for this website. Talks about is there a live CV version? Um, and why you make such a great OS? Um, so it says, I thought what would attract young users to Linux, so I created this idea after a lot of reading and work. How can I watch DVDs and other media? Um, is Linux really virus proof? So it's mostly true. Um, they're not vulnerable to uh, Windows viruses, and there are very few Linux based viruses, and if those that they are made, you have to give manually give the information to run. Um, asking if he's going to support, he or she's going to support other architectures. Um, <clears throat> as we know, that that support has never came about. Screenshots of the OS. Uh, this song here. Um, this is very weird. You can check that if you want to. I'm not going to go into detail. And some broken links, I guess. <clears throat> and I guess finally an about page. So let's go start um, setting up the VM. So let's call it HML. Um, this is course Linux and it's going to be Debian 32-bit. <coughs> so click on continue. Uh, let's just give it 2048 so it'll be too super slow. Create a hard disk. Uh, let's see here. Let's give about <coughs> 12. Doesn't need much. The ISO is like 700 some um, megabytes. So we want to create. Uh, we want to start the VM. And I need to select the ISO. Let's see here. Search. choose um, and now we're off to the races <clears throat> so <clears throat> yeah that's that's very purple so they're starting with the theme right away so let's see you select English try let's see install Hannah Montana Linux There's the splash screen with the Hannah Montana theme. And 
now we're at the welcome screen here. So we're this is where we're prompted questions about the installation. So not sure why it's asking for language again. Not sure if I clicked on it. Yeah, there it is. Is it is it that or it was slow? So New York time zone, Eastern time, USA keyboard layout. How do you want to partition this? Use entire disk. Name. Choose a super duper secure password. What is the name of this computer? Let's call it HML. And to review everything, and we're ready to install. Okay, installation is complete. We're now going to restart. Let's see what this thing is like. <clears throat> so, this version of Linux is basically the butt of a lot of inside jokes it's because it's just, it's so old, it's basically useless. And it has like the, the craziest theme. It's one of the weirdest Linux operating systems anyone has ever came across and it's basically now it's just a joke operating system so I mean the only thing you can probably use it for is just to mess with people like I saw this guy use Hannah Montana Linux to um, mess with some tech support scammers Can tell that there's there's Miley Cyrus, Hannah Montana. They got got a pink one up here with Hannah Montana written on it. The ling the Linux penguin. And it's completely Hannah Montana themed even down to the icon so let's just check it out so there's the clock and calendar network let's see here um, this looks like the um, the launcher here so everything is just this weird pink purple thing going on um, let's see if I can actually um, change the zoom and it's just not even sure what's going on it's not even trying to do anything I'm not even going to try to install guest edition so it's just like you go in here you go to templates you got a Hannah Montana you got some weird this is a dolphin file explorer Everything is just, I don't even know what the thing is, just, it's like the dumbest thing I've ever seen. And let's see here, let's have a little fun. So let's see, terminal. Let's see if we can actually attempt to download some stuff. So, um, sudo app get date
and it looks like oh there's some errors three or four or four errors so it's um it's not even pinging that's so old so all these are just broken links the computer doesn't even use an IP address anymore is trying its hardest to try to find some kind of update so let's see here let's see how old this thing is so let's see where is um, the these files located for the repo uh, CD source CD uh, apt So all this stuff doesn't exist anymore for Jaunty, Jaunty Ubuntu. And I know for a fact that in order for you get to be able to get to update, you have to update these links because they're still for historical purposes still stored somewhere. You just got to change the URL to like old Ubuntu or something like that. Um, it's got everything you need, I guess, if you're trying to get some kid interested in Linux. It's got like a little messenger because back in the day, uh, messenger was uh, like AOL or MSN messenger was was a thing. Applications. Uh, let's see here, graphics. Not much to it. Internet is using Conquer. So let's see if we can actually do something with with this here. So let's say um, let's go to YouTube. Let's see if we can actually play something on 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 this VM. And it looks like the website is not even trying to render here. That's that's interesting. It's like all the standards used on modern web pages just didn't exist back then. So I can't even it won't even paint the web page for YouTube. So. Does it have any problems with Google? Well, it looks kind of modern. Um, how is it compared to just now? Yeah, it, it's completely different. It's it's painting like the web page for Google for back in two thousand and nine. What's this thing here? Oh, that's just for your profile. Multimedia. Not much. Um, surprised it doesn't even have any kind of open office or libre office on here. Got some settings. Uh, let's see what system looks like. So I got Kate Advanced Editor all in a Hannah Montana theme. Do they have a oh man? It's like every single application has this ridiculous colored theme. <clears throat> Do you want to upgrade to 12.04 LTS? Sure. Of course, it's 
not going to work. And then, let's, let's see here. What does it do? It just airs out and doesn't do anything. Yeah, so this is just, this is a uh, Hannah Montana Linux. It's, it's old, it's useless, and I would never want to put this into a production environment because even if you can upgrade it, it's going to lose lose everything. Everything's just going to get wiped out. The, the splash screens are going to go away. The things are going to get messed up because they're going to go from this version of KDE to a new version of KDE. And you're actually going to lose actually all this stuff. And you would have to search around to figure out how to get the icon packs and the wallpaper released. But... The, uh, the actual theming for the Windows system will be be gone, and you'll be forced to try to find some kind of equivalent close to like some kind of purple theme from like the uh, themes chooser package, which is a uh, they don't really make this. Um, <clears throat> easy uh desktop appearance nothing um so yeah that that's 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 basically it um thank you for um tuning in um and I guess we'll just see you next time.